Hey everyone, Cube King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to manually update your Nexus S4G to the official ice cream sandwich uh, build, Android 4.0.4. This is official, it is being pushed out to phones, so if you don't wanna wait for the over-the-air update to get to your phone, you can do it manually via this, this method. So anyways, you have to be on stock uh, 2.3.7, the latest gingerbread build, Android 2.3.7, as you can see. You must be on stock only, you must have stock recovery. Uh, anyways, once you do, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. And once you do it, it'll take you to the AC Syndicate forums. What you're going to need to do is go ahead and scroll down, and you'll see this download button right here. You'll see this download button. Click on it. It'll automatically download the file you need to your PC. Uh, once it's downloaded, you're not done yet. Go ahead and go into the file, which should be in your downloads folder or something similar. It'll look like this. It'll actually just be a bunch of numbers and letters, this TAM. Uh, KDR3Z, uh, that file right there. And once you have that downloaded, you can actually go ahead and plug in your, your Nexus S4G into your PC. You're gonna need to do that. I do not recommend downloading this file directly to your phone. That's not recommended. I do recommend doing it to your PC first and then transfer it on over. So go ahead and hit turn on USB storage. So turn on USB storage on your Nexus S4G. And once you do it, it should pop up on your PC, of course as a USB storage device. Might take a little while to load up, but there it is. So you got it plugged in, and all you're gonna have to do is go ahead and with that downloaded file, click and drag it over to your phone, uh, your removable disk F, transfer it on over. It'll take a little bit of time. The file is decently big, actually, since it is a, a full Android version update. But here we go, so it's gonna transfer on over. All right, and once it is done transferring over, as you can see, all you're gonna have to do is go ahead and go back into your removable disk, so where your Nexus S4G's internal storage is, and you're gonna need to rename that file, that uh, TAMKDR3Z file. You're actually gonna need to rename it, and you're gonna wanna rename it to update. Just rename it to update. It'll be an update.zip, but just rename it to update. Uh, just like that, and you'll actually be ready to go. So once you rename it on your uh, Nexus S4G, right-click on removable disk and hit eject. So go ahead and eject your phone. You're actually ready to go. Once once you do that, you can unplug your Nexus S4G from your PC. So we can go back to our phones now. All right, and once we have that file transferred over, rename to update, uh, we are ready to go, actually. Uh, you can go ahead and power off your device. We're gonna need to power it on down. No, you don't have to worry about this deleting any data or anything. It's just like getting an update over the air to your phone. It'll automatically update it. It'll save all of your data, all your apps, etc. So keep that in mind. Once it's powered off, what we're gonna need to do is press and hold volume up and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of them. It will take you to this screen. It will look like this. Um, to navigate through the screen, what we're gonna need to do is use the, the volume keys and the power button. You'll see you have reboot bootloader, reboot recovery, and power off. Press the volume down button twice until you highlight over recovery, and then press the power button to select it. What that's gonna do is reboot you into the phone's stock, custom, stock recovery, not custom recovery, stock recovery. It'll take you to this page. It'll be an Android guy with an exclamation point. The way I get past the screen is just kind of pressing the volume buttons and power buttons all at the same time. Just keep doing it until you get this screen. And you'll see this, uh, this menu right here. You use the same buttons to navigate volume up and down and power button. Go press the volume down button until you get to apply update from SD card. Press the power button and then go ahead and use the volume down button to go down to update.zip. You'll see update.zip, select it, and it will go ahead and install the official Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich update manually. So it's gonna go ahead and do it. This is exactly what would happen if you got the over the air update. It would just download to your phone and then it would reboot into this stock recovery and then follow this same method and install. So it'll take a little bit of time to install. The file is pretty large, so be patient with it and I will be back once it's done installing. All right, and as you can see, install from SD card complete. It actually did take a long time, so you really need to be patient with it. It took longer than I thought it would, so uh, be patient with the install process. It does take a bit of time. But anyways, once it's done, all you have to do is it'll highlight reboot system. Just press the power button to select it, and it will reboot your Nexus S4G. And once it boots back up, you will be running 
the official ice cream sandwich ROM, ice cream sandwich build on your Nexus S 4G. So there we go, we got a new boot animation. The nice stock ice cream sandwich boot animation, so very cool there that that got updated. But anyways, I'm gonna be doing a, uh, a full review video on this actually very soon. I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot up and I will show you I'm now an ice cream sandwich. All right, so as you'll see, it says Android is upgrading right there. Depending on how many applications you have, it'll take a little bit more of time. So I'll let that go ahead and load up. I am using my fly grip in case uh, those of you are wondering on my Nexus S 4G, I can just stand it up just like that for you guys. Uh, so definitely check that out. I'll link to that in the description. But there you go. It's finishing the boot after Android is upgrading. So hopefully it should take me to the home screen. It does have a new launcher. Everything is revamped. So you're definitely going to want to check out my review video I will do. I got to go somewhere for a couple hours and I'll be back. So I'll put that up tonight. You should see that up tonight. So as you can see, even a new lock screen. Make yourself at home. But uh, enough of that. Let's just go to settings real quick. And scroll down. Go to about phone. And under About Phone, you'll see model number Nexus S 4G right there. Android version 4.0.4 right there. Um, build number IMM76D. So that is what the build number is called. But there you go, Android version 4.0.4, ice cream sandwich. We are now an ice cream sandwich. It has a new, uh, a new radio, actually. It's updated the radio, so hopefully you get either better 3G, 4G speed signal and uh, signal strength too. So hopefully everything's improved with this. Uh, but now you get the ice cream sandwich experience on your Nexus S 4G and you can manually install it via this video. But anyways, as I said, be sure to check out my full review video. I will link to that in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.